Hi Taurus, welcome to your Tower Love reading. My name is Sophia. Welcome to this community. <clears throat> so I'm going to jump in and do your reading straight away. I've done a collective reading yesterday. Please check that out. I generally do it at the weekend. So if I get a download, which isn't a download, it's a knowing to do an additional reading. It's generally quite important. Uh, so check that out. Check out the others in this community as well. We're all here to help you. I don't do tower readings, collective readings, images and all that kind of thing. Well, I do collective, sorry. Tower readings, image readings, counselling, anything like that. So that's why these are up here to help you. So if you want some of the additional services, which you would need because you're watching tarot, then uh, check out the uh, description box or click on one of their videos, all of their videos, and see who resonates with you. So with this reading, I'm picking up already heartbreak. So and heart, uh, a heartbreaking situation is what I'm getting, right? Which is going on at the moment. Unless you're transmuting that, then it's not so heartbreaking. It's that one. It's getting to the bottom of it. That's what I feel with this reading. Okay. Yeah, it's not. I'm not feeling quite happy, but this is more sad. Not like I'm unhappy with the. Well, anyway. Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups, the Lovers. I've been saying this in the readings, and I'll probably say it again in the collective reading, but I'll repeat it here now. Your person made a choice in love, and this is what I've got to say, that you watch other tower readers and they say, oh, the, the Ace of Cups comes out and the choice, right, in love, right? Uh, Seven of Cups, lovers. So they say, oh, there's a choice to be made, right? That's the titles at the moment, right? And, oh, they love you, the Ace of Cups. But let me break that down, because, like I said, this needs to be broken down, and I might say in the collective reading tomorrow. I love, 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 love space, right? I would love to go to space. I, yeah, I, yeah, I would. But I don't choose to do it. That's exactly what's gone on in this situation at the moment. Your person loves you, but they chose another option. That's it. But the tarot makes it look like, oh, well, they love you, so they're going to choose you. And your expectation is they love you, they choose you. They don't love the situation they're going towards, but they chose it out of obligation, of tradition, of religion, or something like that. I'll read that. That's the overall energy I'm getting, and I'll get into the cards. But that's what I'm getting this so far. And that's what you need to know. Now, why do they do that? Because you're supposed to be like me, right? I don't know how else to say it. You're supposed to be, all right, I'll put Marcus Garvey, right? You're supposed to be a spiritual influencer out there, not uh, changing people's lives spirituality of the old day of just chatting and flapping your gums is gone dead buried you need one-to-one -one support with people of this planet because it's too dark it's too dark it's too so it needs to be um more of a handheld approach to change people's lives and that is hard fucking work because you get rejected you get slagged off you this community right we teach the air you breathe but someone will say pick up a physical crystal and that will heal you the physicality isn't even fucking real, which is insane, right? To pick up something physical of the outside to heal your inside. It's, in, it's insanity, right? Okay, well, we use Reiki then. But Reiki is energy. So why don't you know quantum physics? Energy is connected with the tree of life. Why don't you know Kabbalah? Oh, I'll just wave my hand around you and Jesus Christ chose you to just heal someone. Because they, they do that, do they? This planet's fair. They don't pinpoint things. It's like all of you can use energy. And this is what this is about. So you're going to be facing controversial shit in life as a spiritual master teacher. So your person teaches you of the controversial so you can just simply transmute it and understand that love is love. You are here to be on your path to help people because that's who your core essence is, love. And you're going to battle, right, not necessarily fight, but battle to get out there. And it's going to be painful, but you can transmute it. The core essence is love. Your person has chosen another option, but the core essence is love. They love you. 
right? So at the moment you battle on doing what you've got to do, transmute this heartbreak, heartbreaking situation, the energy I was picking up at the beginning, and then move forward, right? Now, okay, let's jump into the cards. Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups, the Lovers. So this Six of Pentacles is actually what I'm getting from this is they was giving you crumbs whilst they was balanced out. Ah, the tables have turned. So what's happened now is they was giving you crumbs and they was dealing with a, a situation which they was dealing with it. Um, they were back and forth trying to be with you, trying to be with the situation. Now what they've done is gone over there. They're fully engaged in, say, like paying the bills, looking after the children, blah, blah, blah. Now that person is getting crumbs. That person naively thought if I manipulates a bit of a strong word but i'll use it manipulate this person to come towards me dangle that you know i'm going to take your children or whatever right so they go over there you know i need to pay you need to live with me i can't afford to pay the house rent the mortgage whatever so the person goes to the third party right but they think oh, okay they're going to fall in love but i don't think that they just automatically believe that that person is going to be like loving towards them page of cups right Oh, well, you're moving in here. So you're obviously moving in here because you love me. Now I'm moving in because you threaten to take my kids, because you threaten that the kids will be homeless, because you threaten that, you know, you're going to tell my real fam family that I'm a bad person and they're going to be against me uh, because I'm in a belief system that I must do it. That's why they're over there. So they're not. At, so now they're receiving crumbs is what I'm saying. It's changed. The lover's situation has changed. That's what I'm feeling. Two of pentacles, yeah, no balance, no balance, right? But this is about understanding you balance out your left and right hemisphere of the brain when situations that seem negative, leaning more to a negative with the scales here of the six of pentacles, lean it back to more to a positive to get alignment. You can do that with counselling. If you don't know how to do that, book someone in this community, right? The knight of wands... Why is that here? Yeah. This person, I already said that. It's like this person presumed your person was going to go over to this situation full of love. Page of Cups, the lovers. They, they were mistaken. It's like now they're playing them. It's not playing them, but, you know, they're casual. That's the word. They're casual. The casual with that situation, it's not about that. It's like, I feel for your person. It's like they're halfway in a situation and halfway out at the same time. I said this perfectly in the reading the other day. I feel like they're in a house, right? Uh, if they've gone living there or they've just cut you off and focusing more on this third party. But what I visualize is a house and they're standing at the front door with the door open looking out. So they're in the house, so that person gets them, yes, but they're not focused on them. And I always say I prefer my person to go and deal with that situation, come to me fully invested, than for me to be in that situation with the third party. Never. would never want my person here thinking, oh, I wish I'd be with somewhere else. I would hate that, right? So, And that's what that person's dealing with. Your person over there thinking about being in another situation. So all it's changed is really from six of pentacles and two of pentacles is about balance. So it's changed one version of perspective of balance to another version. They both mean balance. And like I said, with a version of love, just because they love you, you perceive that they're going to come towards you. Uh, no, but they still love you. The other person thinks, OK, they love um the situation they, they love to, you know to pay the bills because they don't want their kids evicted or whatever situation they've gone to third party and they perceived it so this is understanding the version of love this love can't be outside of you so what you have to do is simply love yourself and when situations like this happens you've learned to transmute it seven of cups like i said to you is about them choosing another option of love and the, the love they have chosen is casual. There's two casual cards here. They casually chose. It's not they that they, they, they work. They thought about it, right? It wasn't a casual, flippant choice. But what they're doing now is they're not. It's not love. It's just a choice, 
right? It's a delusional choice. They imagined it to be better. Maybe they actually, and you might not want to hear this, but this is a Taurus reading. I'm a Taurus, and my person goes through this, so I have to hear it as well. Maybe they imagined that this will be long-lasting, and it might be better, this love. They love you now, but maybe it will transfer. If I go to all this person, this love will be better. Delusion, seven of cups, right? This is why I say we're smoking weed, drinking alcohol, right? High thought of these choices to go towards this other option because look the cloud right cloudy judgment that's what that is that's why they chose that so this time for you who's watching this is about you working out working on transmuting this there's two cards of uh balance well yeah black it like i said balancing out your black and white the negative and positive in this situation you might say there's no negative, uh, no positive. My person's backed off over there, right? This isn't about finding the positives, the negatives, right? This situation is about working out how to transmute the fucking negative to align you to be more positive. That's what this is. So let's get, because um, not everything in the situation you can find a positive from it. I can't find a positive why my daughter's not living with me. End off. There's no positive in that situation, right? So what I do is I transmute it. So let's get some extra advice from upstairs. Choices, 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 choices. Mm. Like I said, they're lying to themselves about the choice they made. And that's their, that's their course. That's their pur purpose, their path. This is a situation where your person needs to go and experience something until they're ready to make the changes. I've been saying for four years that twin flames need to be in mission. A mission is not Reiki, acupuncture, yoga, tarot, sitting on YouTube, talking about your person next to you, why she's there or she's there. That's not mission. Mission is changing planet Earth, such as Tom Cruise, mission, impossible. It's fucking impossible. Why? Because he's collaborating with a load of people doing things like changing planet Earth. Or is he knitting? at home or doing a tower reading like a hobby right no he's not doing that is he when people say mission you it sounds like a, a fulfillment of a purpose which is massive how can people say this is my mission to do tarot it's fucking humiliation to fucking what mission is my mission is to be that's what they say right no one says it as a tower reading it's a fucking hobby if you're just doing tower reading like that Right. And why I'm saying that is you're lying to yourself about that. So you're reflecting your person's lying to themselves about a situation. But the core essence of this reading is both of you need to find out who you really are. And then you go towards it. You are mission. Your person needs to find out about going towards you. That's what this is going on here now. Two of swords, nine of pentacles, knight of wands. Knight of wands is here twice. This is about casually fucking around with what you are both of you you're supposed to be doing mission i've told you and your person's fucking around casually going to a towards the situation both of you hoping that it will work out oh i'll just do acupuncture reiki yoga meditation watch a bit of tarot hopefully my person will come towards me your person is like over there loving you right you love mission you want to make changes your spiritual light worker twin flame star seed. you want to make changes and you're just hoping that what you're doing is enough and your person loves you, but then goes over to another situation, like you go over to your Reiki acupuncture, da, 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 and hopes that that will work out, like I said here. They're hoping that, you know, well, what, your love will just fade away, and then they just fall in love with someone else because they're there all the time. Like, you watch Tarot all the time. Did that make you become, like, with your person? Both of you are delusional with the Knight of Wands twice here. Nine of Pentacles, this is just both of you living independently and free, doing something you reiki acupuncture watching tarot them going towards a situation both hoping that that will change to get which is insanity real love instead of both of you going towards your real love now you already know you love your person so it's not about you yours is about getting into your masculine which is doing what we do in mission here and your person to come away from that third party yours is to, to go towards you right 
that's it. You both have to go towards more of a 5D purpose. You do 3D. That's what this reading is with the Nine of Pentacles, right? Indecision, right? Make up your fucking mind, right? That's probably what you're saying to your person. I'm saying it to you. Make up your fucking mind. Let's close it out with alien oracles. Now, when you choose your person and you get into mission, does it mean your person comes to you straight away? No, there's always lessons, right? To build your character so you're hardcore to face adversity of changing this planet. That's what this is. But when you get to the point of where I am, when this happens, you transmute it because you'll be fighting against the 99% the of bullshit asleep plugged into the matrix people. Right. So this will still happen regardless if you make a choice and you're in mission and you're trying to change planet Earth. It You still have to tr try and keep going on. You watch Mission Impossible. He doesn't just go out and do one thing and then he's changed planet Earth. He has to battle on. He fails. He tries different things. But like I said, if you use the natural laws of the planet, then you can go past it. It's this one. So your person, right, they've gone to another situation and you've probably said, fuck off, cunt. Don't want to see you anymore. Go, go fuck your mum, all this shit, right? Flirt doesn't literally mean flirt. I mean it like as in, keep the door open, right? Keep the door open so they can come back, right? So the, the, this is where this is like, when you're balanced yourself, you can do that. If your person's gone to a third party situation and you can't speak to them in a way that they can come back, then you're not balanced. Don't expect any reply though. <laughs> Good luck with that. Let's close it out with what your person really thinks and feels. And I already know what they think and feel. They love you. They feel you. They're thinking of you. They're just in another situation. It's like you. Your core essence is mission. You're in another situation. I struggle to open up. The reason why they struggle to open up is because they're tied to a third party. And if you they say that to you, well, I've got to go and over to the baby's mum and this and that and all that kind of stuff, right? If they open up and they say they love you, I love you, then you go, well, why are you going to this third party situation? Right? That's why they don't do it. Does it mean they don't love you? No. Right? Like I said, I love, I love, I love to go to the moon. Does, I don't open up about it because if it's not going to happen right there's many reasons why they struggle to open up i think about you constantly it's insane i already mentioned that i might act strong strong but i'm not yeah that's that they have to go out there and tell friends family babies mum, and maybe lose them to come towards you so even though they come across strong they're not and pretty much same with you you give it large, I want my twin flame, I love my twin flame, blah, 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 blah. I am spiritual, I am loving, love and light, I am all uh, nurturing, but still you're not collaborating with people and doing what you have to do to change this planet. You're not strong enough. I'm scared you don't love me as much as I love you. Another reason why they go over there is because they're scared. I feel more scared of you might fall out of love with them. So that's it. Check out the description box if you need help with this. This definitely needs help with transmutation of energy. Probably pissed off, upset, thinking your person's gone over there, it's gone ghost. What should I do? Don't know what's going on. I'll do a collective reading on an update of this if the energy moves tomorrow because I'm generally reading the now. But um, yeah, so uh, but you would need counselling. And if you say no, you don't. Why are you watching tarot? I'll speak to you later.